Hi, I'm Nikki Starkiller. Welcome back to Trinity Talk. Today I got Street Scala again, repeat part two. But today we're just basically going to focus on one person, and that's Patrick Genty. Uh, Patrick Genty is somebody I have said it before that anybody in the LGBTQIA or whatever acronym in the community that they're getting called out for being predators. Basically, the gist of what Patrick did was his three months old baby broke some bones, didn't report it for a couple months, six months about, right? The, uh, so the baby was six weeks old and they didn't report it for three months. Yeah, something like that. All right, so the mm. baby broke his bones. Yeah, broke his, fractured his baby's bones five different times in five different places. Does anybody know how he did it? Well, in the, in the core audio, they explained um, that it was definitely due to uh, abuse. It wasn't something that just happens when you, so th th they were saying that maybe that he, he hung the baby upside down and shake them like that. Cause a lot of fractures were in his legs and also he had fractures in his arms. Why would somebody do that to their own kid? Yeah. And that, that is true. This is not his stepchild or anything. This is his own son. Do you know if this is his first child or? Uh, I think it was his. I think it was his second child because it was his son. He has three kids, so he has a daughter who's the oldest. Mm -hmm. It was the middle child. Okay. Yeah. Ah, and you you've been going on lives, especially TikTok, a mm -hmm. while now for probably about two months. No, nah, nah, like a month. Ever since the core audio dropped, I felt like. I mean, I already know how how TikTok works. If nobody pushes it, people are just gonna forget it. I mean, there was a lot of people there when the when the played the core audio, but mm -hmm. I, I just didn't. I mean, I already know how people operate. Some people. Why, just don't do, you, why do you think that a lot of people though are like not um, not responding well to it? Meaning, like, there's a lot of people that aren't believing you. I mean, I don't see that, but uh, I think the people who support him is just. No, said, no, okay, sorry. Why are people that support him still blindingly supporting him? I mean, because there's just people who don't care about child abuse. <laughs> like, you know, I like, 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 I wait, 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 I think people would like to believe that people just are all decent, but there's some people who just don't care. Like, Eb, Eb, like, I've called her out, and like, every time I call her out, she's just like, Nikki, why don't you tell me why you're a racist first? Mm hmm. Like, it's deflection, you know? Like, I called the ad out. I was like, why are you supporting this person? You know? What if that happened to one of your kids? But Which... but here's the thing, because, like, we, we've been looking into all these people. because we're, we're So, Eb is a terrible person also. She's a drunk. She oh, lives yeah. In her, she, she, she's, like, 50. She lives in her mom's house. She, like, she I has don't a, think she's 50. But... She, or oh, she's about to be 50. She, but she's a drunk. She lives in her mom's house. She has all her kids working dead end jobs. She what? she twisted tea. That's what that's what she drinks. Whatever she drinks. But all I know is she got a bunch of her kids working dead end jobs while she just sits home all day and no car, no nothing. She doesn't do shit. So like, why wouldn't a person like that? So like, this is all she has is, is TikTok. So why wouldn't she? This is not a person who has something else outside. And she's of TikTok. a bully. She's straight up bully. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which is, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people see that, but a lot of people. But people like her because she's charming. She's got that I don't give a fuck attitude, which, which, like, mm, it's not so great. And yet a lot of people follow her because she she does stuff every once in a while. But the fact that she still hangs out with Genty or Patrick is just kind of asinine, you know? Like, she has kids. Mm -hmm. What if he did this to his kid or her, her kids? kids? I mean, they all have what kids. If, what if, what, yeah, but what if he did it to his other kids and they just haven't said anything? I mean, but th this is also something that came out that the, the ex-wife has come out. Because the ex-wife has talked about this before. Mm -hmm. it just, it just she, she always got mass reported. All her kids are in therapy because he, he wasn't just abusing that kid. He abused all of them. Like, he, he has domestic violence charges from his wife. Like, he went to jail for so beating his, his wife. Did his ex-wife have the three kids with him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you see the best of volumes, but I mean, once 
See, people can be. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. People can be. People can be predators. Uh, regardless, because like, but if he has a history of like doing this domestic violence, right? Mm -hmm. He has this history already, and now he has now he has a history of child abuse. I like, mean, straight up child abuse. The like breaking breaking kids' bones is not. It's not cool. You, you know what the funny thing is? Is that when I started on this app, all that shit where Scholar Docs, I, I knew he was a child abuser since the fucking first day I ran into him. Because when I put in his name in Google, that's the first thing that comes up. It's the first thing that always ever came up. Now, the, the, the newest thing that ever came out, which I never heard of and I never thought about looking into, was the core audio. In my head, he's always been a child abuser because he has that charge since fucking 20, what, 15. So when I started going at all his friends... I, the way I looked at it is that you support a child abuser. This mm -hmm. is why I was doing what I was doing to all of them. And that, and that that's why people have came around. They were like, did you notice all along? I'm like, you have to be a fucking moron to not look somebody up on this app. Like, it, it took me two seconds to put his name as Google. And the fucking second thing that comes up is child abuse charges. It's always mm -hmm. been like that with him. So the, the fact that anybody ever been in a panel with this guy and just or was mutuals with this guy and just never took the time to look. They're fucking idiots to me. And this, like, you, yeah, you know how many people have came around and be like, Skyler, my bad. I'd be like, nah, you stupid. How do you, like, yo, this is not something, like, I, I didn't do no deep dive. All I did was Google his name, and his mugshot came up, and his conviction. It's been out for years. Well, right now, I'm going to show the core audio, um, and we'll see where it goes. And Jeremiah's father is Patrick Gentry Jr., is that correct? Yes. Now, specifically on November 12th of 2013, Detective Anthony Patchouli of the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office was contacted regarding Jeremiah being admitted to Jersey Shore Medical Center on November 1st of 2013. Is that correct? Correct. Jeremiah was admitted for what they thought could be osteomyelitis, O-S-T-E-O-M-Y-E-L-I-T-I-S of the right arm, correct? Correct. Or in other words, um, they thought potentially maybe he had some type of infection of the bones. Is that correct? Yes. Now, Jeremiah underwent what's called a bone survey, correct? Yes. Now, um, initially, they had tried treating it with antibiotics, correct? Because they thought it was an infection. Right. Correct? And then after that, they conducted the bone survey when the antibiotics were not um, effective, correct? That's my understanding. The bone survey revealed multiple fractures healing stage, including the distal left radius, the left and right proximal tibia, and the bilateral right clavicle. Is that correct? Yes. At the time, Detective Bowman, uh, excuse me, Detective Patrulli spoke with Alicia Bowman. Is that correct? Yes. Alicia Bowman indicated that she was the primary caretaker for Jeremiah, correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that, however, her mother, Lisa Bowman, her friend, Stephanie Vargo, and Jeremy's father, her husband, Patrick Gentry Jr., also have watched and cared for a Jeremiah on various occasions, correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that although Patrick does not care for Jeremiah often, when he does care for Jeremiah, he had exhibited um, frustration. Is that correct? That is correct. Alicia indicated that on more than one occasion, while Patrick would be caring for Jeremiah in another room, Jeremiah would cry in a manner that was different than his usual cry. Is that correct? That's correct. Alicia indicated that the cry would be a very high-pitched scream. Is that correct? Yes. Alicia indicated that when she would ask Patrick that Jeremiah is crying differently for him than for her, Patrick would never provide her any real answer. Is that correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that pa Patrick does have some underlying anger issues. Correct? Correct. Now, the two of the two in November of 2013. Is that correct? Yes. Patrick indicated that he, Alicia, Lisa Bowman, and Stephanie Vargo all have watched Jeremiah, correct? Correct. Patrick did acknowledge that on more than one occasion when Jeremiah would be placed in his arm, Jeremiah would cry uncontrollably, correct? Correct. Patrick did acknowledge that he had become increasingly frustrated when caring for Jeremiah and that he would quickly give him back to Alicia to care for. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Stephen Carries of the Child Protection Center of Jersey Shore University Medical Center examined Jeremiah's medical records. Is that correct? Yes, he did. And Dr. Carries noted that Jeremiah was initially admitted on November 1st, 2013 for concerns of a right upper extremity mid-arm swelling and discomfort, correct? Correct. 
Dr. Carey noted that in October of 2013, Alicia Bowman had brought Jeremiah to the doctor because she noted that there was some bruises to his abdomen area. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, at that, point, at that time, um, the medical personnel who examined Jeremiah did not note any pattern to the bruising. Is that correct? That's correct. And um, there was a compatible history or potentially compatible history of potentially rubbing against the restrainer in the walker that could potentially have caused the abdominal bruising, correct? Correct. So at that time, the hospital or the medical personnel didn't conduct any bone survey of um, Jeremiah. They just noted that there was bruising to his abdomen. Is that correct? Yes. When Jeremiah was initially admitted to Jersey Shore Medical Center in November of 2013, the original x-ray did not show any evidence of a fracture to the arm. Is that correct? That's correct. However, on November 12, 2013, a bone survey, which is more in-depth and um, more reflective of what's going on, was completed. Is that correct? Yes. The bone survey revealed evidence of a healing fracture at the wrist of the left radius, correct? Yes. The healing fracture appeared to be approximately six weeks old. Is that correct? Yes. The knees on both sides at the upper tibia below the kneecap also showed evidence of what's called a chip fracture. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Carey indicated that such chip fractures are called classic metaphysial lesions, M-E-T-A-P-H-Y-S-E-A-L, correct? Correct. Right. Dr. Carey indicated that such chip fractures are due to either a rough twisting of the knee or holding the knee up and dangling the legs back and forth so that there is some shaking causing injury to the knee. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. Dr. Carey also noted a healing fracture of the right clavicle or collarbone, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey indicated that the collarbone need to be the six or seven weeks old, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey noted that there was also some irritation of the bone along the right humerus, M U H U M E R O U S, and along the left tibia, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey has indicated that these are what are called non-specified markers of irritation, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey has indicated that these types of non-specified markers of irritation are usually due to trauma, correct? Yes. Dr. Carey has indicated that there is no history of any accidental reasons for the fractures, thus there is a high concern for physical child abuse. Is that correct? During the course of the investigation, Detective Patchouli spoke with Stephanie Vargo. Is that correct? Right. Stephanie Vargo indicated that since Jeremiah was born, she babysat him on a few occasions, specifically between September 5th and 8th and between October 10th and 13th of 2013. Correct? That's right. Mrs. Vargo indicated that she had never observed anything that could have caused injuries to Jeremiah. Ms. Vargo did indicate that she has observed Jeremiah crying profusely while in Patrick Gentry's arms. Is that correct? Yes. Ms. Vargo indicated that when that happens, Patrick gets frustrated, correct? Yes. Ms. Vargo indicated that if she or Alicia are around when Patrick is frustrated and the baby immediately gets now, Detective Patchouli also spoke with Lisa Bauman, is that correct? Yes. And Lisa Bauman is uh, the grandparents of the children, correct? She's the grandmother, grandmother. I'm sorry. Um, Lisa Bauman indicated that she never observed anyone in her on her indicated that she was looking in October. And she was aware that because her daughter had the birth of the beef and that her daughter had brought Jeremiah in to be examined by the doctor to see what could have caused the um, bruise, correct? The baby mama brought the baby in. She of Jeremiah. She never observed him up all hours crying or screaming in this high pitch matter. Is that correct? Correct. Right. Lisa did indicate that when Alicia would put Jeremiah into Patrick's arms, Jeremiah would scream bloody murder, is what she called it, correct? Yes. And Lisa indicated that Jeremiah's. Um, Screaming in Patrick's arm has been going on since even before the beginning of October of 2013. Is that correct? That's correct. I have no further questions for this um, witness or any of. Okay. So that was the court or uh, court audio. So like, and this is what almost eight minutes long, and this is what he did. And how much time did he serve for? 
he sat down for two months because he couldn't afford a uh, bail. And then once he he took his plea deal, because his wife, the grandmother, and the family friend were all testifying against him. He took a plea deal. They gave him like six months, suspended three, so he only had to do 27 more days in jail. But, but people are like not wanting to trust you because you dox people, apparently. Yeah, I dox everybody who ever stood next to him. You goddamn right. You also called CPS on people. Like, I never, I never called CPS on anybody. See, so this, this is what, this is what, what's fucked up. It's like everybody likes to use this deflection technique. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna trust Scala because he does all this, you know. But that's all deflection. Just like Eb trying to like talk to me, yeah. like and she was just like, "Why are you a racist?" No, answer my question. No, she wants she wants to be in control. Mm -hmm. But anytime somebody talks about Scala, or brings up Scala, it's always like, "Oh, you dox us and call CPS." I never call CPS on anybody though. That's the funny part. I don't even think I ever told somebody I was going to do that. I I, I think the on, the only situation that, that that they pertain that to was Patrick. Because CPS got called on him, and they just assumed it was me. But th this is a guy who lives in a fucking one bedroom, who has his three kids visiting every once in a while. And you know, in any state, that's illegal, right? His his daughter is like eleven. She's not supposed to be sleeping with two other boys in a room. So if somebody sees that and they call CPS, what the fuck does that got to do with me? I never called on him. I don't give a shit enough to call on him. That that's that's the fucking state's issue or whatever. But that's what they compare. That's the only time they could come up and they think that I did that, but I didn't. Didn't didn't. So we we talked about this the last time that we talked talked is that you actually went to the restaurant where he was working because yeah. Didn't he call you out? Yeah, he called me out. He said to pull up, so I did. And what did he do? Run out of the back door. Yeah, he ran out the back door. This is so crazy. And then he gets beat up in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. And then, and then when, beat him up. Yeah. And then when I brought that up, oh, why are you being racist? Why are you telling this stuff on a black guy? And I'm just like, oh, my God. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, whatever. You know, like, predators are going to be predators and calling them out. Now, Scala did a good thing. I was on live today earlier. And I, I think I'm thanking Scala for this. He called, he, you know, Instagram me, text me, and he's like, "Hey, why is this person? Why is Lux on your live?" Okay, so the night brought him up. You know, I was like, "Joe, she's having a good conversation." Then brought him up, and he based he said, "Yo, denounce her right now." I'm screen recording, anyways. Denounce Patrick Gentry right now, and she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it because she's one of the ones that that been supporting him and, and stay supporting him. Even though that she says that she doesn't support him and she only goes on his lives every once in a while, you're still supporting a guy. And due to the fact that, the, like, since you've been doing these these lives about him, he hasn't done debate lives. Nobody can't been, do it. He can't do no, it. No, the only people that have been in his boxes is like Ed, his, his current girlfriend, or whatever. And what's his name? Um. I don't really know all their names to be honest. I just know it's his friends. It's the people he knows that aren't going to say anything because he can't do a debate talk. Look, this shit is all over TikTok, Randy. He he can't let anybody into the box because he knows at some point he's not going to know who's going to say what. <laughs> but 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 the thing with the the thing with her is, is the same shit happened on somebody else's. That there's this girl named Blunt Juice. There was another yeah. guy who came into the box. And his girl made a video that same fucking day defending Patrick. Like, he got his kids back. He didn't do this like that. Like, that has anything to do with anything. By the way, he doesn't have his kids. He fucking sees them on the weekend, which everybody knows CPS is fucking corrupt. They ain't shit. The judges ain't shit. Anyways, mm -hmm. besides that. So we end up playing the core audio for her, and she st fucking finally stands there and says, you know what? I can't support that. Who, Blunt Juice? No, not Blunt Juice. Blunt Juice never supported uh, Patrick. It was some uh, random girl in the box who just made a random video that day. And she followed me into that live because I called her out on it. Because she, mm -hmm. she, was, she was basically making a video defending Patrick. And what she did, she deleted that video. And then she came into the live. But then Blunt, me and her are cool. So she, I ended up playing the core audio. And then I ended up putting her on Front Street. I'm like, do you support that? And she couldn't say yes. She was like, no, I, I don't support that. I'm like, then what are we talking mm -hmm. about? 
So what's the argument about? That's all we ever had an argument about. I don't know who the fuck you are. There you go. But you know what's the crazy thing is that you can't say you support a child abuser. You can't. Nobody's going to say that. They're just going to ignore the question. That's fucking crazy. I just, I still can't believe that people actually do that. They're just going to ignore the question. Like, had this been somebody that they don't like, they would have been all over it. But because it's one of their friends, they want, they, they just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to bring it up. You know, we don't ran into so many lives. They start filtering the comments now. They, they mm -hmm. anybody who posts child abuser or Patrick Gency, the comments don't show up. That's how, that's how fucking bad it is. Yeah, because, be, because you can block uh, keywords. Um, I also like the fact that Joel Patrick put it out. Oh yeah, I I have the live where I, where he came up and you know I was like yo you should and, make a video about this. And then, uh, Lumberjack made a stitch of his video. I told his bitch ass too. I was like yo I know we don't like each other but this is bigger than us. Like you better make yeah, yeah, a yeah. video. So, uh, Lumberjack duetted his video and then made an ending where like TikTok end user agreements. Mm -hmm. Patrick Jenny shouldn't even be allowed on it, period. So he's basically saying, TikTok, why aren't you guys doing anything about this? Because they don't know. Because you, you don't do background checks when you sign up to TikTok. This has to be brought to TikTok's attention. This is why I put a link on streetscholar.com, the top link. It says the report to TikTok legal. You can report them every day if you want. Because at some point, they're going to have to answer to somebody. Because like I, I, I could be, like there's prison talk and shit. You don't know what these people went to prison for. They don't know unless you tell them that they put it in the in, in their fucking thing where it says you can't. But if they don't know, then they don't know. How would they know that Patrick's a convicted child abuser if nobody tells them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how you're getting connections with a lot of people that don't like you, but they they're I think there's a lot more people like respecting you for doing what you're doing. And this is obviously taking a toll on you because you've been doing this for a month straight because nobody else would like do 24 it. 7 nobody else is gonna fucking do this and i know that because a lot of people are scared a lot i don't give a fuck i don't care about shit first of all patrick will never fucking do anything to me in real life because i will beat the fucking shit out of him second of all some people are just really care about this tiktok thing like too much they'll be like oh my page might come down because like He'll like they'll mass report. I don't give a shit about it. like yo. Even my my main page is suspended right now, right? That's yeah. I, I made three more pages and I'm still up. Like I'm not. I'm still doing this every day. We're still we're like right now. Patrick has his comments. Uh, like um, you can only comment if you follow him at this point. If you oh, look at it right now, sub zone chat. Yeah, no, not even on his videos. If you go to his, his videos, it says it right there. That it, it's what is that comment where it says uh comments are filtered or some shit? That means that you can only comment oh, okay, if you follow yeah. him. He has to do that because we're flooding them every day. Because if somebody comments and they don't know, people are letting them know who he is. So he doesn't want that. And he and he's lost. Have you seen how many followers he's lost since this started? Yeah, exactly. He's lost a bunch. A bunch, exactly. And you got to think. And 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 as far as a TikTok live audience, he's lost at least half of his audience on the live. Because I remember when Patrick used to go live, he used to have a thousand people in there by himself sitting there. Right now, yeah. he he barely cracks four hundred. If that, if that, even on the battles, like, but, the, but what's crazy is that people are still giving him gifts on battles. Well, Why? Like I said, I, I, and, and I, and I always, are they just people, that delusional? There's just some people who don't care about child abuse. Like you, you, you might think that people might be like, oh, this is like a, a unanimous decision, but some people really just don't give a fuck. I mean, there's still people who fucking. Uh, support R. Kelly and shit, and this motherfucker was having sex with kids. Like, there's some people who just really don't care. Like, you, you uh, would like, you would like to think that people are just decent human beings, and they would be like, no, we can't stand for this. There's some people who don't give a fuck. Like Lux, that fucking bitch. Yo, yo I, I ran into a live where she was at once already. We shut the shit down. We got the shit flagged. She would not denounce him in that live either. Why not just denounce him? Because she's fucking like sick like the rest of them, and they all need to be gone. And I and, and I have somebody working to take down because Patrick's page might might be hard to take down because I don't know why. But we have people we have a, a person who who knows how to fucking report a page the right way, and we're gonna take all these people. Anybody who's standing around them is gonna lose their page because they don't have fucking pages like he does. They have really small pages, and they're not hard to take down. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about the other guy who has got millions of followers? His friend. I speak. Yeah. He he doesn't want to talk about it either. None none of them do. He just tells people just block block. Yeah, just block and if anybody brings it up. But 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 then this is the same guy who who during the summertime it came out that his wife fucking hated him. Fucking, she called him out on TikTok saying that he's a terrible person and all this shit. So, I mean, what do you expect from somebody like that? He's a piece of shit, too. Like, like not one person standing next to Patrick is a decent fucking human being. It just, it just. To me, it's the severity of what he did. Yeah. You know. Three months, six weeks old. You're breaking child's bones. That that's that's at the end of the day. That's that. That's that main thing. And he calls himself a pansexual man, right? Because mm -hmm. I I heard that he was born. So he's actually part of my community. So we we don't need people like that. Makes us look even worse. You know, we're already struggling as it is because. People want to talk down on us, even like people like Street Scholar talk down on the trans trans community like twenty four seven. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even I don't even go into those topics. Like, I if it, if it comes across my page, I haven't done that. Like, it just it doesn't bother me enough. You you still hanging out with U.S. Marine? I never hanged out with him. Oh my god! No, I mean the, he's always coming into your page. Yeah, but I don't let him up in the box because he has nothing to contribute. I tell him if he wants to support, he can support from the comments. <laughs> like I'm not, like we, like not because I, I like barely. Look, Patrick has been talking about me. We've been going back and forth for two years. I have never hosted a panel with his face as my background because I never gave a shit. Like this is like TikTok shit to me. Like I saw him in person. He ran what the fuck. What the I'm gonna host a live about him for? The the only reason I'm doing this because I truly believe that this sick piece of shit does not deserve to be on TikTok talking to fucking little kids after what he did to a baby. That's the only reason I'm doing this. It's not because I dislike him. It's not because I don't like him. It's not because I do like him. It's none of that. It's just anybody who has a conviction and pled guilty to breaking a fucking baby's bones does not, de uh, does not deserve to be on social media talking and having his voice heard by children. That's what I think. I mean, he's not going to be the only one, but like, if this was just hearsay and shit, I wouldn't be going this hard. I wouldn't be fucking running into all these lies with all these people and shit, but this is a conviction. Like, you heard eight minutes of the core audio, but we have the entire core audio, all three hours. You, you We hear it when he's fucking pleading guilty to all this shit with the, with the judge, and the judge telling him he needs to be a better father, that he needs to get anger management classes. And even with that, because... Have, that's you, have, you, um, have you clipped the one where he pled guilty? Have you clipped that on on your free Scala TV? Uh, no. You you only have the other. Like yeah, because I only wanted to. Because let's be honest, people have a low attention span. Even with the eight minute one, it's pretty fucking long for people to hear. So I just wanted to to, to play the part to show because everybody knows he pled guilty to this because it's a conviction. He's a felon because of this. So I wanted people to hear what he did. Uh, a felon who only served three months, essentially. Which is bonkers. Did he have a good lawyer then? No, he had a public defender. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's the fucking king. Self-proclaimed king. I mean, but everybody knows that the system don't give a fuck about kids. You, you, you have entire pedophiles going to prison for like two, three years after they raped like fucking ten kids and shit. And they get right back out and like nothing happened and shit. Everybody knows that, that that kids are the least protected people in the fucking in, the, in in at least in this country. You could do a crime against a child and fucking get nothing. Like and uh, and unfortunately, all he did was break his baby's bones. And I guess they didn't think that that was bad enough to fucking hit him with years in prison. Do you think it's New Jersey? Because you guys are in New Jersey. Do you think it's like the state laws within New Jersey no, that are because... just kind of shitty? No, because like the 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 lady that I'm working with, Ray the Fixer, she she's posting new fucking articles about this shit every day. There was a guy in Ohio. It's on. It, it, there's a there was a guy in Ohio who fucking killed his his baby, 
fucking it got like a 50 year a sentence but they only gave him eight years of house arrest so he got to go home and take care of his other daughter after he killed his son and then he fucking uh he was abusing his daughter and then he got rearrested again for abusing his daughter after he killed his son This shit happens all across the country. Like everybody knows that these people don't go to jail for that long for for crimes against kids. Nobody, they never do. Well, so there's there's actually a new movie out called uh, Sounds of Freedom, and it's about the uh, child uh, trafficking. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And that's that's a billion dollar industry. Yep, people know that, and they're taking, and most of the kids aren't even in the U.S., you know, so it basically tells the story of this one, um, he worked for Homeland Security, and this is this was his job, and he came across this boy, you know, who was, who was, who was trafficked, um, and found out that the, this kid had, had a, um, had a, um, an older sister, so he made it his his thing to go find his, the sister. So Homeland Security gave him like one week to be able to go find him in Colombia. Mm-hmm. And they found out that she was actually sold to this Colombian lord that's in the south part of Colombia that nobody goes down there. Not even like the Colombian government doesn't go down there because it's held by, by, by rebels. So the guy resigned from the Homeland Security. His wife told him, do what you need to do. And him and this other car, this guy used to be part of the cartel, who basically now just buys children to release them, you know, from other people, teams up with them. They become, they become doctors. Um, and they sit on down the river because they're going to do vaccines. So as they're traveling down this river from the, from like, I want to say like the FBI didn't, told them where the river was and they had GPSs on and they're injected into them because he gave them like these two syringes to inject the GPS. They get down halfway, half, like halfway down the river and they're sworn by these other, um, these other uh, cartel people are the, the force people and they said that only one of the doctors could go down so the other guy went back the main doctor went down and he was traveling through the village where they were seeing all these people and he found a girl and it just so happened that that girl was like this like the slave of the head guy they called him the scorpion. He had a scorpion on his neck. This is a scorpion guy. Um, and it was staying in his place. And so the the scorpion guy's out with his guys, like in the fire, and he goes and finds the girl. This is at nighttime, and he goes and finds the girl, and she screamed. And so the other guy heard her, and he ended up hiding and told her, Hey, don't, don't, don't. So that scorpion guy comes up, gets the girl, puts her in his bed, and he's about ready to do something to her. And you all you see is this FBI agent come up and end up having to uh, kill the guy. But then the thing was, now he's got to take the girl and bring her back up the river. And they, they, get, they free her. You know, he gets her. And they free her, and it's just like, but this is this is a true story of a base. It's, it's all based on this true story of this one agent who does this for a living, you know. And he actually left his job from Homeland Security of like sixteen years. He only had like four more years, and he would be retired with a pension. But he, his wife and him, no, go do what you got to do, and he re- reunited this family back. And like, so yeah, nobody, the America's system with child, regardless of whether they're predators or not, 
it is fucked up. And the child sex trafficking is just even, even worse. There's a reason they don't close the border down south. You know, and that's why, like, Donald Trump was, like, close, trying to close the border. But there's no reason that they want to close the border. There's no sense in it, you know. Because we know that most of the people in Washington and whatever are pedos anyway. You know, it's the higher-ups. Remember Epstein Island? When are we going to get that black book from Epstein Island? You know, he used to bring children to this island. And he had like major people go there. Yeah, and they probably killed him so he wouldn't like tell on anybody else. Of course. They placed it like he hung himself. No. Of course. Yeah, it's crazy. The world's the world's a fucking nasty place. And it's just that's why I don't I don't get I don't give my get my hopes up like when when this shit came out and people just wanted to act like Oh yeah, uh, he's done with. And I was like, "Yo, with the people that I work with or I'm working with, I'm like, yo, don't get your hopes up. There's some people who actually don't give a fuck about a guy abusing his children. They really just don't care. Like, there, 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 there's people out there who don't give a fuck about people who have sex with children. Like, they just it doesn't hit them either or. Like, not everybody. Like, you would hope that people would be like decent human beings and be like, nah, fuck that. But there's a lot of people who just don't care. As long as it's not happening to them or anybody they care about, they don't give a shit. But you're definitely hurting his pocket because when he did his debates, like all day long, he was making money, more subscriptions, more, well, hey, run my guests, run my guests, run my guests, right? <laughs> yeah. That's all he wanted. Now he's just doing battle, but he used to do that and battle. And now, now he lost a major part of his stream. And you, know, you, you, you missed the best part. We we got the biggest battlers to denounce him. You never seen those videos? No. We have a lot of battles. We had a lot of big, because we were running up and setting aside his battles, just spreading awareness. It's like, yo, in case you don't know, this guy's a convicted child abuser. There's people who battle that have agents, and they don't want to be associated with that shit. So that's why he only battles his friends now. Cause we stopped that too. Yeah, but you're never gonna stop Ev, his his wife, and I speak. Well, then they so all gotta just, go down with him. They'll just do four four person battles all day long. I mean, how long could how long are people are, are gonna get tired of that? But if I mean, if anything, if that's what they're gonna do, then they all gotta go out somehow, some way. I mean, I speak has he, he's part of the Navy, right? I wonder what they feel like of him being associated with a convicted child abuser. But we're going to get all into that really soon because that, that's what I'm doing. Like, you know, I always used to track down people to piss me off. But you know what I'm doing now? I'm tracking down people. And this has happened many times before. Like, I saw one of his big gifters. She she happened to be working at a daycare center. Her her daycare center did not appreciate her gifting a child abuser. So she just deleted TikTok. So, I mean, <laughs> once you track down these people and see what they do for a living, I mean, a lot. let's see what society thinks about it. Because, or if not society, let's say you don't have, let's say about, about your friends, your family, your neighbors. Let's say if they agree with you supporting the child abuse. Some people can't take the heat. So that, that that's the other, that's the other side of the things we're doing. Yep. They got to know. It, it can't just be like, oh, just TikTok rallying. That's why, that's what I'm saying. Like, I. I'm glad I, I I I'm the one that heard this shit because a lot of people wouldn't be doing what I'm doing or a lot of people a lot of people are fucking scared man like a, a lot of people just don't have it in them to to do anything. Like, I was doing this for free before, so why not do it for a good reason now? I mean, like I always tell people like yo, I hope I hope your fucking lifestyle supports you wanting to support a child abuser because I mean you have a job right? Like I mean I'm not you personally, but anybody who's watching this fucking guy right. Like, let's see if your manager or your supervisor or anything just appreciates you what you're doing, because everybody everybody lives a digital trail. You can find anybody, so mm -hmm. we'll see. Well, and I'm doing I'm doing my own thing. There's um there's a a mom who who has a trans kid, mm -hmm. and she she's online twenty four seven. I know what you're talking about. about. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Well, so. The state that she lives in, there's mm -hmm. actually child labor laws. 
Is your child working? No, she's she's the child doesn't have to work, but the fact is, is she's making money off her child. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it's a child labor law. Mm. So we're actively going after that right now. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been kind of I mean Oh I, my god. Yeah. Yeah, I I used to see her a lot, but ever since this shit dropped, I've just been on a mission, especially seeing so much, especially seeing all these people jump on board to what we're doing, all these people doing these stitches in the wets. Hey, man, well, I honestly don't... I mean, it's not just me. It's, it's the people that that's who run into my lives every day. If it, I honestly believe if it wasn't for us, a lot of this shit wouldn't have been happening. I, I want to people... say thank you, and thank you for coming into my live and calling certain people out. You know, um, I think I think that... People need to listen to you, even though a lot of people have like a lot of anim animosity towards you. That mm -hmm. we just need to listen to you, and like like in, like I'm saying again, thanks for coming in and calling that person out because I should have just I don't want to platform that. Nobody should. Like, you know, this I want to platform good good speaking and stuff, but like if you're not denouncing a person who broke a kid's bones and. I can't. I can't platform you. And I thank you for because when when I told you this, I didn't know which way you you were gonna take it. Because I mean, it has nothing to do with me. It just has to do with how good of a person you are. Because I tell you're not the only person who that happened with. Like, oh yeah. That, that there's other people. I, I, I like. I'll have somebody message them. Be like, yo, you know this person on your panel supports a, a convicted child abuser, and they drop them too. Like, uh, maybe once. There was somebody who just flat out said, "Oh, I don't care about that." And she's you know, on the AV show all the time, but no, nah, she's not anymore. Oh, yeah, she's not anymore. Because I, I spoke to—I mean, even though I don't like fucking AV, I think he's a bitch. But I told him, <laughs> I told him, and he—he he doesn't support that either. Because I mean, yo, this is bigger. Listen, I, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here. I think everybody could could agree. I mean, any decent person could agree that this piece of shit doesn't doesn't deserve to be on. Yeah. There. Like yeah. I don't, I don't have to be friends with you. I don't have to. That's why I have no reason to lie. Once I saw her, and I was like, "Yo, this yeah, she's just going like she's losing places to 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 platform herself, right? Because she knows if she starts her own live, all I do is make an Instagram post and they run <laughs> and they running in there and fucking mass reporting that. that I, I see you just you just go on your fucking live and you got your other phone and you're like, this person's on a live right now. Go mm -hmm. to this name. Go to this name. I remember yeah. we did that to that one girl who was wearing all red and had the red dress or red head thing. Oh yeah. And like everybody went in, even I did, and she just she was just like, What's going on? Started block I she needed mods and then she just switched it to the sub only chat. That's what they gotta do. I mean I mean if they switch it to sub only chat, they actually lose their algorithm. Exactly. And that's what we want to do. We, yo, if people l listen, it's either one thing: it's either they denounce a child abuser or they fucking go down with him. I mean, there's no other fucking option. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I believe. That, that that's why we have so much work to do. So it goes down to the people he comments, who comments on his video. If they don't know, we let them know. It goes down to it goes down to everybody. Mm. Anybody who fucking thinks is okay because yo the the, the thing is it, it bugs me out because like th this is why fucking people get away with child abuse and fucking being a pedophile and being all this nasty shit all the time because people always turn a blind eye like I never would have believed that half the people who fucking so su support him which I mean he lost a lot of supporters let me just say that he lost a ton of fucking support I, I can't say that but it's just the fact that even one person is still remaining it just bugs me out. I'm like, yo, what if this what he did this to your kid or to your brother, to your sister, or to fucking somebody you love? Like, would you really be there? But you, but you, but you have actually affected like, like I said, there's some big creators out there that are actively doing, posting the video and everything. So like, they should, they should. I mean, because it's the right thing. Even to do. with people that don't like you. Or they actually supporting you. They don't have to like me. I have like I'm not here to be nobody's friend. I'm yeah. not, I, I'm just doing this shit because it's the. I mean, I'm a father too. What the fuck? When I heard that audio and heard what he did to his son, that shit made me sick, yo. I was just like, what, yo, it was so unbelievably bad. I just couldn't believe it was that fucking bad. Like when you hear something like that, when you hear he's a convicted child abuser, in my mind, because you know, I just don't want to believe anybody's that much of a fucking monster. I thought he like. 
just beat up his child once, which is fucking terrible, and got caught for it. I didn't know he was he was torturing his son. That's torture. When you fracture a baby's bones five different fucking times, that's not just beating. He that means he did it over and over and over again to fracture his son's bones five different times. That's torture. So that is now now because they waited so long. They waited. He waited long because he didn't want to get caught for it. So he waited until the kid, the baby's bone started. Oh, the babysitter. That's there where is, the babysitter came in. Yeah, the but, play, there is right? no, but there is no babysitter. Yeah. It's Patrick's the babysitter. Yeah, he is the babysitter. There is no babysitter. So he Why knew. The fuck did they blame it on a babysitter. I mean, he did because he like we have the post where he ch he changed up his story twice. He made a whole story for Facebook, and then when he got to TikTok, he made a whole different other story. Of what happened, and then on TikTok is the one where he said that a babysitter did it, and the, but but here's the stupid fucking thing about his story, which I, I heard this two years ago, and I and I knew it was bullshit. He said a babysitter broke his son's bones, but there was no evidence to convict the babysitter, but they had all the evidence in the world to convict him. That was the stupidest fucking story I ever heard. Even when I heard it back then, I was like, how does this make sense to any? How would anybody believe? Why would there be so much evidence against you? And you know what turned out to be the evidence? The, the mother, the grandmother, and the friend testifying against him. That was the evidence. They all testified mm -hmm. against him because they all knew what kind of fucking monster he was. That's fucking crazy. But then, once again, once the core audio came out, what did he do? He fucking posted this shit on Instagram. Like, oh, I'm going to kill myself or some shit like that. And then he fucking... Didn't go online for like four or five days, and then he said it's a legal matter because so he doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh yeah, the le now it's a legal matter. He's a fucking idiot. Is he, is he trying to go after you now? He hasn't done shit. I don't know who he has done it to. I mean, everybody he said he has done it to, nobody has said anything. But even with that, this isn't defamation. This is all fucking factual. Fucking uh, Sobe showed us how to get the core audio for, from njcourse.com. Even I downloaded it myself just to see if you could get it. It's fucking public information. I could go mm -hmm. to the courthouse right now and blast that core audio in front of his house, and they can't arrest me for it. It's fucking public. He's a convicted felon. Like, I don't know why he thinks that somebody had to do this illegally. Like, and, and how, do you, how do you obtain a core audio illegally? Like, how would you do that? Break into the fucking courthouse? And yeah, fucking yeah. rob like what the fuck would you like? You don't even like nothing he says makes sense. Like he he just he's just squirming right now. He doesn't know what to do. He's trying to scare people. It's not working for for anybody that I see. I don't think anybody's taking him serious, and I'm definitely not. He's a fucking moron, and he's always been one. Hmm. But yeah, thank you. No problem. Thank you, Scala. You short little guy. <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, I just hope, man, fucking, if, if I could do it and I'm like, I don't, I don't look at myself like a fucking, like, whatever, but I mean, if I could do it, I can't understand why nobody else would want to do this. Like, nobody else would want to at least stitch it or do it a video or fucking, or comment or boost it or repost it or whatever the fuck you want to do just to keep getting the word out. Like that, that well, that's I've been so I posted it on my main and I've been getting comments on it and just like people are like awesome, awesome. Cause I do edit the one that Joel did. Yeah. You know, because I think Joel's video was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's like everybody wants to say a pansexual black man and blah blah blah. No, no, we don't care that you're black. We don't care that you're pansexual. We care because you broke kids' bones. Because he, he wants to make, he wants to give a reason to why everybody's attacking him now. So, in case anybody doesn't know, he was just saying, oh, they're doing this because of that. Because some people, because not everybody catches everything on TikTok. That's why we got to keep doing this. That's why I do it every day. Because I, the, every fucking other day, I probably get like five or four, six new messages of people who just didn't know that this was even going on. Because not everybody, like, if you see somebody comment on this video, it, it, that most likely it's not because they just support him blindly. They probably just don't fucking know. Like, yo, he went a whole two years, and some people obviously, honestly did not know he was a convicted child abuser. And it's on fucking Google. This is not that's, hidden. That's, that's what makes it even crazier. He's convicted. He's he's been convicted since 2015. He's a convicted felon for child abuse. Like the the fact that somebody still didn't know and they were following him, that's crazy to me. 
Like, I don't know, maybe because that's just in my DNA, but I just look people up, just be like, just see who they are. If I'm like, not where they live or anything, I just like to see what, what's out there about them and shit. So, were you the one who knocks me? No, please. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You know my no, real name? I don't even know your real I think your name is Nikki. I never looked into you. I mean, I'm saying as as simple as just putting somebody's name into Google and seeing what comes up. Not like it doesn't matter where somebody lives or all fucking their private information. I don't give a fuck about that. But oh, I wonder what happens when you input me into Google. <laughs> Let's see here. What are you gonna find out about me? Exactly. I mean, uh, my Instagram, my YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. I'm a. I'm not on Pinterest. Well, oh my! Using uh, your name on Pinterest. Oh, F. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna find much on me. Exactly. That's uh -huh. why. I mean, it, it's a simple fucking search. Like that. That. That's why. I mean, that's why I was telling people you could leave it alone. But then there's just some people who just out there who just they don't just they, they probably honestly don't fucking know. Like the fact that this guy was ever able to get what a 700,000 followers and not one of them be like yo is he a child abuser and when it's public information it it, it doesn't weird me out cuz people just don't fucking care the people don't look into that shit i mean i knew it since the first video i made about him cuz that's the first thing i did i was like who is this google and then i saw it i was like what fucking ridiculous but like i said i i don't want to say like i knew the core i did not know the core audio until the core audio came out i never even thought about getting it to be honest and I didn't how even. Did you, how did you come across it? Some lady ended. I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's such a fucking it's such a simple idea, but she just decided to download it and listen to it. And then she told you about it. No, and then she played she played it in a live, but there was like a thousand people there. Like she just oh. like, she just invited everybody. Like, oh, this is the core audio. Like this shit is crazy, and she played that, and everybody was just like, "What the fuck." That's when I heard. That's when everybody everybody was there. That that that's the screen recording that I got is from that audio. That's why you hear people talking about it and shit. Because I was like, "That's crazy." But hey, if somebody doesn't spread the message, then how the fuck is it gonna get out? That's why I mean, I big up people who who do random fucking um lives and just randomly just throw out this information because you never know who's listening. Maybe somebody listening and they honestly don't know, and then all they got to mm -hmm. do is Google it now and they'll fucking see it. Because information is free. It's just somebody's got to be willing to fucking put it out on whatever the chance, whatever chance they get and shit. Like, I'll be, I, I'll never, I'll never host a regular live again until this motherfucker is completely done with. Somehow, some way, he's, he's got to be done with. But I just advise everybody else, if, if like, e even the fucking people that I don't like, if you do it, one day it's going to be like account not found. <laughs> Hopefully. Like, I advise anybody who does debates or whatever. Even if it's a fucking two minutes out of the, out of your fucking time when you have people on your platform, just announce it. Just announce it so people could fucking know. Like, look, look, look what happened today. You had two full Patrick supporters that I knew who the fuck they were because I seen them before, and fucking they got pointed out. That that shit. I mean, some people just don't know. And now maybe somebody who was just watching didn't comment, probably just looked it up and was like, "Holy shit, I never knew this." And then I made sure that like the people who said King King Genti is the king, like. Block them. That's crazy. But then, I mean, some people are fucking idiots, too. <laughs> some people are fucking idiots. Well, Scala, I think we're going to wrap this up. But uh, yep. I just want to say thank you again. Uh, thank you for doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Even though a lot of people like to find disgrace for you and stuff like that, you're actually reaching people who would never talk to you again. And they're actually speaking out about it. They so should. You're doing a good thing. And, you know, I I also thank you for pointing out to me. And I, you know, I'll be more more inclined to it because I, I, it needs to be done. We can't platform people that support it. So. Yeah, can't, can't platform fucking convicted child abusers. But yeah, thanks for that. that thanks for showing that, you know, you stand on the on the right side of things because you know it, it's nice to know to, we have to it, it's nice to know that you're not standing alone like i know when i go into my live and there's 200 people then we're running into lives i know what we're doing but 
it's nice to know that we're like you know we're not the only ones who be like yo this is really fucked up this this shit needs to change and if people well, I don't know, i need to do it when i'm on dream maker when i do like three thousand people in a live <laughs> exactly but, i mean people are just pissed off at me to begin with but I don't know. Hey, a lot of people were pissed off with me too, but hey, all no, I ever pe did. Was... People are pissed off because I say trans men can, or men can get pregnant, and they're just people are like losing their minds. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know if they really care about that, but. Hey, you never know until you say it. Shit. I mean, like, like what? What? what it's funny and real quick. And the lie that you were just in, I heard it. Once you brought that up, you saw the girl who was friends with him. Like, why'd you even say that and whatever? And then the girl said, "Oh, because it's her live." So every so if you bring it out and somebody is defensive about it, you, you know what it is. You just gotta yeah. fucking question them again. But yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't screen record it, so if you if you have that live downloadable, please upload it because I need to I need to clip that and post that shit so we can show that we're still moving. Cause that was I, I didn't have my second device with me because I was out at fucking Target shopping when I did that. That's why I was in you were and at out. Tar -Jay? Yeah, I, what that's the fuck I, are you doing in Target? I was shopping. Don't support that place. I they lost them a lot of money too. But they got some good shit. But then I saw her and I was like, oh hell the fuck no. And then I knew you wouldn't have stood for that because you wanted to do this about Patrick. So I was like, there's no way. I was like, Nikki doesn't know. I gotta let her know. But thank you. And you did. Motherfucker kept on calling me on Instagram. I'm like, what the? Because <laughs> I honestly thought that, like, I honestly thought if you knew, you would do something about it. Because I was like, there's no mm. way Nikki knows this. Like, man, I got to let her know. Because I know, I know most of the people now because I get fed all this information through Instagram. But like, yo, who we running into? And they got to show me who it is and, and, and prove to me that they support him. And once we start asking the questions and they don't know how to answer, or they don't want to say it, then there you go. Because you can, act, like, with anybody, come up to me and say, hey, do you support a child abuser? I'll be like, fuck no. The fuck? I don't even have to think twice about it. Whoever the fuck it is. Oh, do you support this guy? He's a convicted child abuser. Oh, word, fuck him. The fuck? The fuck am I going to look like? Like, oh, I can't answer that. I, uh, I don't want to answer. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be my fucking, my brother and shit. If he's a convicted child abuser, fuck him. Right. Yeah. But, but thank you again. Thank you again. Um, you, have a good, you have a good day, Nikki. Well, I will, as yeah, you guys all know, I'm Nikki Starkiller. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at Nikki Starkiller. And also TikTok, Nikki.Starkiller and Nikki.Starkiller1. This is Street Scala. Everything's Street Scala TV, right? Everything streetscholar.com and also to contact TikTok legal about Patrick Jensen because you cannot be on TikTok when you have a crime against a child and he's definitely a convicted child abuser. <laughs> and you can fill out the form there on streetscholar.com and plus you have all my links. Yeah. All right. And as always.